Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating the median deviation using Microsoft Excel. In this worksheet, I have fictitious data. I have a variable named score, and this variable contains 15 values. I will be using these 15 values in various calculations. So I'm going to go to formulas, and using the define name function, I'm going to create a named range that refers to these 15 scores. So I've selected these 15 scores. I'll go define name. And you can see here in this dialog, the name is score, and it refers to A2 through A16. I'll click OK. And now I can use that named range score in places where I would have selected these 15 values. So for example, when calculating the mean, it'll be equal sign, average, and then score. So the average score is 50.93. I'll also calculate the median using the median function and the name range score. The median here is 51. So the mean is a sum of all the scores divided by the number of scores and the median is the value in the middle when the scores are ranked from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Next I'll calculate the mean deviation which will help in understanding the median and I'm going to calculate this using two methods. The first is to use the function built into Excel so it'll be equal sign AVEDEV -E -E average deviation. The mean deviation is also referred to as the average deviation, the mean absolute deviation, and the average absolute deviation. So this would be the average deviation and then the named range score. So we can see that the average amount that the scores deviate from the mean in this sample is 3.4. Another way of calculating this, I'll go over to cell B2 and this will be equal sign ABS or absolute value of the score minus the mean. And when I select that cell, H3, I'm going to press F4, function 4, to make that an absolute reference. So as I autofill, that won't change. And the mean deviation is going to be the average of all these values. So I'll put that down here. Equal sign, average, and then select all these values. And we can see it's the same value here, 3.4. It's the mean deviation. The median deviation is calculated in a similar fashion, except instead of using the mean, it uses the median for all of the deviations. And when you have all those deviations, you take the median of those. So first, I'm going to use an array formula in this cell to calculate the median deviation. This is different than a standard formula when I'm finished typing it, I'm going to use control shift enter to create an array formula instead of just using enter. So I'll start with equal sign, median, and then absolute value of score minus the median of score. And again, this is an array formula. So after I put in the last parenthesis, I'm going to hit Control Shift Enter. And we can see the median deviation here is 3. Notice in the function bar up top, the brackets before and after the functions. That indicates that you have an array formula there. So I'll also calculate this by calculating each deviation first. And this will be equal sign, then the absolute value of the score minus the median. And again, for the median, I'm going to use F4 to make that an absolute reference. And then I'm going to autofill this down. And I'm going to take the median of these scores. So down here below the mean deviation, I will start with equal sign and median and then select 
all of these values and I arrive at the value 3. That's the median deviation. The mean deviation and the median deviation are two measures of dispersion. The most popular measure of dispersion though would be the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So to calculate the variance and the standard deviation using the functions built into Excel, I'm going to use the population variance and standard deviation here. So for variance, that's going to be equal sign var dot p, and then the score named range. So the variance is 16.86, and the standard deviation will be stdev dot p, and then score named range 4.11. I will show you another way to calculate these values. Moving here to the left, this will be equal sign open parentheses, the score, cell A2, minus the mean, and again with the mean I'm going to use F4 to make that an absolute reference, close parentheses, shift 6 for the caret symbol, and then 2. So the score minus the mean squared. And then I'm going to autofill this down, and take the average of these values, equal sign average, and then the values in column D. And you can see that's 16.86. That's equal to the variance. To get the population standard deviation, we'll just take the square root of the population variance. So that will be equal sign SQRT, square root, and then the population variance. So we have a population standard deviation of 4.11 which matches what we have up here using the function. I hope you found this video on calculating the mean deviation using Microsoft Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.